What is up guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. We got Luna out here today like usual for all of these videos. We're still super pumped to have all of you back watching the channel and today might be a topic that Luna has her own opinions on but today we are going to be talking about tail docking one of these Jack Russell Terriers. Pros, cons, just some of the information that you need to know when it comes to tail docking. Options that you have or conversations that you should have. That's what we're gonna be covering today in this video. But real quickly, before we do, it would help us out a ton for the YouTube algorithm if you would smash that thumbs up button for us. It goes a long way toward letting YouTube know that you enjoy watching Luna and I make these videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We do publish weekly now. And never forget to check out terrierowner.com on your way out. That is the blog site that discusses all of the things that we talk about on this channel. Typically, there's a blog post that coincides with our topic, so if you're more of a reader or want to brush up on the information head over to terrierowner.com and now guys let's jump into the video so tail docking luna what do you think should we do it or not do it no thoughts on that huh all right guys first let's talk about what a tail dock looks like on one of these dogs so luna is tail dock that is this nub right here normally you'd have a tail that extends out and wags this nub is a dock tail on a jack russell right there on her booty Okay, so the first thing I can tell you is if you are very pro or con on this conversation, you need to realize that a lot of the times when you go to adopt this dog from the breeder, the procedure's already been done. So docking typically happens like in the first four to five days after the dog is born. Luna was already docked, so I never even had the option. I just showed up to the breeder and the puppy I was getting ready to adopt, the tail was already docked. Now there are reasons for or against this. One of the biggest reasons that you do dock the tail of a dog like this. There's several, so I don't wanna like rank them in any specific order because one is not more important than the other, just for a full disclaimer. But one of the first ones is what we call happy tail. So a lot of the times high energy dogs, like a Jack Russell Terrier, which is very high energy, it will be more of a common theme to see the entire breed with dock tails. Because happy tail is essentially that the dog is always easily excited, easily aroused and easily hyped up. So happy tail would be the dog is consistently wagging their tail Pretty violently for a good majority of the day which can either a be annoying or cause the dog injuries because think of it like this if this dog was wagging her tail even right now consistently it'd be very hard to make this video and B if they're wagging it inside of a kennel or near walls or corners they could be bashing that tail basically against items in the house outside or anywhere they are at all times now this wouldn't be a big deal with a dog that can stay calm for a majority of the day but this isn't that dog Jack Russell's are excited by sunlight by insects by anything they see this dog gets hyped up so that is one of the reasons that jack russells are a common breed to see tail docking take place another common reason can be for you know prevention of injuries so a dog that is easily excited or a dog that can potentially not always get along with other dogs having the tail docked removes the possibility of injury happening to the tail or dramatically reduces it and injuries to the tail if you weren't aware can actually be pretty devastating for a dog because the tail doesn't get a lot of blood flow with the dog it heals slower it can have internal bleeding it can have fractures so having a dog tail removes the chances of you know, even something silly happening like a tail getting shut in a door or pinched between something. Typically, if an injury does happen to a dog's tail, the healing process is not pleasant. It's not fast, so some breeders tend to move in the direction to just docking a tail, you know, right out of the gates. Now, if you do want to make sure you have a Jack Russell that is not tail docked, that is a conversation you need to place a phone call with the breeder, you know, either of your two vets between the breeder and yourself and find out if you're going to have that option or if it's already been completed. Because like I said, I didn't even have the option. So you want to make sure that if you absolutely need a Jack Russell with a tail, you need to look into that and do your homework ahead of time. So one of the reasons against tail docking too that I want to discuss in this video guys is a lot of people, you know, state, and I believe it is like a confirmed thing, but it does reduce the dog's natural ability to communicate with other dogs or to communicate in general you know a dog can use its tail as a you know a warning sign in the wild to indicate you know we wouldn't worry about that as the owners but a tail is naturally supposed to be there they're born with it so a lot of people are against it for that reason alone that 
they should have it to be able to communicate and do the things that they would do naturally from birth. But like I said, it is super common for dogs like Rottweilers, Jack Russell Terriers, I believe are in the top five. And a lot of the other terriers, such as rat terriers, are typically docked. The tails are docked very often. So in my opinion, docking is not a bad thing. If anything, in my opinion, I think it reduces the chance of injury. It reduces some annoyance with a dog like this. And if they're a domesticated dog in a house all day, I don't think that it's going to make a big difference on that, their life if they have the tail or not. Luna can still express when she's happier excited just by wagging her nub. The nub wags just as much as the tail ever would, so I don't think that that is a big deal. You know, another one of the cons though would definitely be that docking costs money, so if it's something you're wanting to do later after the adoption or after you've gone to the breeder and adopted your dog, one of the cons is just going to be the cost of doing the surgery and if it's worth doing it or not. It's not a super extensive kind of operation or anything like that. It's pretty quick and harmless, but if it's something that you don't really want to spend money out of pocket to get done, it's not absolutely necessary. You know, there's still plenty of Jack Russells that have a tail. The choice is ultimately yours for something like that. Sometimes I kind of wish she still had her tail. Just because I'm kind of curious what she'd look like running around with it, but outside of that, we haven't missed much. It hasn't been that big of a deal for her not to have her tail. What do you think? You agree or disagree? Oh, you have something to say about it, huh? What do you think? Tell him. Say something to him. You want to tell him if you need your tail back or not? You don't want to speak to them? Look at them at the camera, not me. Look over at them. So guys, you know, this is a, a topic that doesn't need a ton of discussion in my opinion. Any certified vet will probably be able to give you more information about it. Your breeder could also probably explain to you why they do it or why they don't. And remember that you have the option, but you need to do your homework ahead of time if you want that option or you want to exercise the option to keep or dock the tail. Outside of that, guys, like we always say, we are super, super happy to have you guys back on the channel. You can expect videos every week from us now. We are back for good, aren't we, Luna? Hopefully we're back for good. Next time we'll get let you guys know if there's going to be a break in them, but... We are excited to be back. You can count on those videos each week. Don't forget to head over to terrierowner.com to check out the most recent blogs that go with these videos that we're making, guys. There's new articles coming out all the time. Be sure to subscribe. Give us that thumbs up on the video if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified for the next one. And outside of that, guys, we will see you in the next video next week. We appreciate you and take care.